just received some incredibly exciting breaking news about the upcoming movie, set to be released in July 2025. Universal has officially dropped the logo and confirmed the much rumoured title, Jurassic World Rebirth. Now I don't know about you, but this logo alone has got me hyped. It's giving off major Jurassic Park vibes more so than the previous Jurassic World films, and I'm so pleased with that. But that's not all, Universal also released the official synopsis for Jurassic World Rebirth, but let me tell you, they're taking the franchise in a bold new direction, which after Dominion is a change I, and I know a lot of other people personally, will welcome. So let's dive into this synopsis. Five years after the events of Jurassic World Dominion, the planet ecology has proven largely inhospitable to dinosaurs. Now this is a huge shift in direction. Dominion left us with an impression that dinosaurs were going to be everywhere, coexisting with humans across the globe, but now it seems the story is pulling back, making dinosaurs rare and special again. I think this is a smart move. It brings back the sense of awe and danger that made the original film so compelling. And it seems that to continue then says, those remaining dinosaurs exist in isolated equatorial environments with climates resembling the ones they in which they um, originally thrived. This line has me think we might return to environments similar to the original Jurassic Park trilogy, like Isla Nublar or Isla Sauna. The thought of revisiting such like iconic settings is enough to give any fan chills. Now here's where things get really interesting. The three most colossal creatures within that tropical biosphere hold the key to a drug that will bring miraculous life-saving benefits to humankind. This concept is fascinating, but I have to admit the focus on the three most colossal creatures feels a bit over the top. Why does it have to be the biggest? Well, it could lead to some epic encounters. There's a fine line between thrilling and corny. Let's hope that they strike the right balance and have it make sense. Scarlett Johansson is playing Zora Bennett, a skilled covert operations expert leading a team on a top secret mission to secure genetic material from these massive dinosaurs. I'm really excited to see Scarlett in this role, it seems to fit in with her previous roles and I think she can pull it off. Plus it's always great to see a star of her calibre joining the Jurassic universe. But it doesn't stop there, the synopsis mentions Zora Operation intersects with a civilian family whose boating expedition was capsized by marauding aquatic dinosaurs. Now, this could mean the return of the Mosasaurus, or maybe even a new semi-aquatic dinosaur, or perhaps a certain Spinosaurus, imagine that. Finally, the synopsis teases that the characters find themselves stranded on an island where they come face to face with a sinister shocking discovery that's been hidden from the world for decades. Now this being decades just screams InGen to me. There have also been rumours about InGen equipment being spotted on set, and I'm betting this ties into that. And now could this island be the rumoured site C, Isla Muerta, where all sorts of shady experiments might have taken place? I have previously made a video on Isla Muerta if you want to check it out. The sinister discovery could be what makes or breaks the movie. It's got to be something big, something that ties the entire franchise together. Now, I'm guessing it's probably something to do with like some sort of genetic experiments, um, maybe something similar to hybrids or something like that. This new movie seems to signal a major evolution in the franchise narrative. Past films are focused on dinosaurs running in human inhabited areas. Now we're moving into isolated environments with a mission-focused storyline that feels more like a tactical action thriller. This shift in tone could appeal to a broader audience, especially those who enjoy high-stakes action with a bit more of a darker edge. With Zora Bennett leading the charge, we're seeing a move away from the usual scientist or explorer characters. She brings a new, more tactical, more intense, and maybe even a bit more ruthless. It's not just about action. The introduction of a life-saving drug derived from dinosaur DNA adds a more um, moral complexity to the story. It's not just how do we survive anymore, it's about what are we willing to do to survive. This could set the stage for some deep philosophical and ethical debates within the movie and beyond. And let's not forget the aforementioned sinister discovery. This element could expand the franchise's lore in unexpected ways. Maybe we will learn more about the history of genetic experiments or uncover new threats that have been lurking in the shadows. This is probably the thing I'm looking forward to most in the movie. So there you have it, Jurassic World Rebirth is shaping up to be thrilling and possibly game-changing. And from revisiting classic environments to introducing new characters and uncovering new dark secrets, it seems like this movie could bring back the magic that made us all fall in love with this saga in the first place. But what do you think? Are you excited about this new direction, or are you missing the all-out dinosaur chaos?